Okay, we're back out here in the 6.8 liter garage. Um, we're gonna continue on with uh, some upgrades to the ArcDroid setup we have. Um, last video, we set up this um, Texas Metalworks uh, water table, which wasn't designed for the ArcDroid, but I think it's gonna work out really well. Um, I'll link that video at the end of this video so you can go check that out if you want to. But today's project is to mount the ArcDroid controller to this arm and um, we're gonna give laptop guy a break again he's probably in there watching YouTube as it is um, drinking coffee anyway um, he weren't he's not drawing this I'm not drawing this we're actually downloading it from here check that out um, that's a post on the uh, Arctroid CNC forums on their website I'll put a link in the description to that but as you can see, um, Matt UK drew this for his ArcDroid and shared it, So, and he provided the G-code. So um, I've got it loaded on here, and loads right in, as you would expect. And um, typically I draw my own stuff, but why would I reinvent the wheel, right? This should work. And uh, we'll get this cut out. Well, well, we'll cut it and see. Went to the metal supply shop to buy some sheet metal, and... These are, this is in the scrap bin. I think it's 18 gauge. And I asked him what, it, what he's getting for these, bin, these scraps and he said just grab a few. So I grabbed one and that's what I'm going to cut this out of. Um, so this will be the first cut. This will be the first cut, um, actual cut of a useful tool, not just a circle or a square that um, I've done with this setup. So. We'll see how much of a mess it makes, where the water goes, and whatever. It might give us some uh, insight to any next things we might want to do to this table. So, let me bring you guys over so you can see the drawing. Imported. Simply loaded it. Whoa. I simply loaded it, and um, I did zero it on the table so it'll fit on the metal. But other than that, I did nothing. Didn't change anything, just loaded it and did the zeroing. Home, then zero, I got it set on the metal where I want it. So the next step will be to fire some stuff up and do some cutting, I believe. So let's fire up the plasma cutter. The compressor is already full of air. This is still set up for um, it's actually 16 gauge, the settings are. But it's 30 amps, 55 pounds of air. Um, I should check the tune on this. Whoa. Let me change that. It's metric because UK guy, right? I loaded his drawing, I should have checked this. Here, let me bring you back over here. So, I saw a thousand in the feed rate and it's like there's no way I can do a thousand inches and I was like oh millimeters but luckily I have my settings saved for 10 gauge or 16 gauge so 110 inches per minute that'll be much better for us because we understand the imperial units not the metric stuff and for metric I have to do a conversion in my head I know Fab Life, you, <laughs> you think the same thing about inches. Um, anyway, so I think we're all set. I'm going to push the go button and we'll see what happens. Actually, you know what? Let's do a dry run and see what happens. The torch is still off and it's going to run the circle or run through the program and pretend like it's cutting. For those of you who don't know what the arc droid is, it's a good way to tell if. Uh, You've got to lay it out right. This is all looking good. I'll speed this up. Go. Okay, so. Something I noticed is this metal's flexing 
Now you can see that. So the metal's bowed. And when that becomes a problem, so I don't have torch height compensation set up on this. Um, Arcdroid supports that, but Arcdroid does not support the Prime Weld Cut 60. And uh, it has to do with how noisy it is. And if you hook it up for torch height compensation, it really messes with the Arcdroid like reboot kind of thing. And um, that's why it's no longer on the compatibility list. But I'm not a rich guy, so I haven't changed it yet. Um, anyway, long story, but with this flexing like this, I know it's bowed up in the middle. And that final cut that does the perimeter starts on this low side on this edge. By the time it gets to the middle, it's actually touching. So it's, it drives the, the torch tip into the metal that often will cause a bad cut with this 18 gauge it might not be a problem but um, since I saw it be before I cut and that's why you run a dry run but it, since I saw it before I cut um, I'm gonna try to bend that back which means I've got to zero it again and uh, anyway so that's just how it works you know if you don't want to waste metal Since it's just 18 gauge, it's fairly simple to bend. That probably will do it. I don't see it flexing. I see it flexing on the side now. Might be a little too much. Let me set zero again. So this drawing is a. Uh, Zero is not where I would set it when I'm drawing something. Zero is in the center of this drawing. So that makes it a little bit more difficult to place on the metal. But all you do is you zero it and check the edges. And so it looks to be good left to right. But it's far from the bottom. So go back to the center of the drawing. Only say an inch lower. Zero. And check the bottom again. Uh, I could get closer to the edge, but I think that's good enough. That's good enough in both cases. And the top's not going to reach the top, but I can check it. So now I'm going to run a dry run one more time and make sure that I'm not scraping the metal. So, speeding it up. Okay, so now it's going to do the perimeter cut. Notice it starts on this left side, but as, when it gets around to the middle, if there's an arc in that metal, you'll hear it when the torch drags on the metal. And you know you may have problems. There it goes, dragging on the metal. So the other fix I can do would be to get a stick. I've seen people do this and push down on the metal. I could raise the torch height a little bit. Um, in this case, it would probably be fine. I'm going to continue to bend it. so. Bear with me while I do that. Let's run it one more time. Speeding it up. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Here's the perimeter cut. Let's see if I fix my scraping problem, driving the torch into the metal problem. And it is a problem. It fouls tips and ruins cuts. And it's just not a good thing. Huh. It's just barely touching on the other side. It's way good on this side. And you thought it was as simple as dropping metal in, load a drawing, and push go. But this is more realistic uh, for people like me who don't want to waste metal and are too cheap to upgrade to a compatible plasma cutter. So we'll run it again, speeding up. No 
perimeter cut. We'll see if it's scraping. Now it's scraping on this side. Okay, we're doing the perimeter cut so far so good what I did this last time is maybe not a good idea it's a little bit of an experiment but the cut Z on this on my machine is uh, 0 0.06 inches I'll let you convert that to millimeters I changed it to 0 0.08 inches and now nothing's touching that may be too far for you know to get a clean cut it'll probably still cut it especially being an 18 gauge but it may be too far to get a clean cut. So let's see, let me make sure I got you guys in the frame correctly. Yeah, everything looks good. You can see the cut. All right, that cut out pretty well. Uh, I mean, there's so so much less smoke with the water table than what I had before. Um, maybe maybe the uh, respirator is a little bit overkill, but better safe than sorry, right? You only get two two sets of well, I guess they could do transplants, but you're only supposed to get uh, one set of lungs, two lungs. There we go. There's my my. Uh, um, holder for the arc droid controller and we'll get that let's, well back side's a little rusty right we'll get that uh, wiped down cleaned up and uh, we'll, we'll bend it all right so that all cut out pretty good you get a little bit of a smoke stain on the back um, but I'm sure pretty sure the sander will take care of that very little draw, so the no settings weren't bad at all. Uh, but I'm gonna hit it real quick, smooth it out. a lot of stuff all right so that's pretty good pretty good piece for essentially free right i mean i got the metal for free from the metal local metal supply got the drawing for free from arc droid cnc forums somebody else drew it matt from uk so uh cool get some of this stuff put away and then we'll bend it up All right, so now bending this. Looks like we want to do the sides first. Make sure I have this right, the right orientation. It's gonna sit on there. So that side needs to come up.
So when I say the paint booth, I'm talking about this modern masterpiece of climate control and cross ventilation. Right here, you can see the cross ventilation moving it. Anyway, yeah, I just do it outside. All right, fresh out of the paint booth. Not quite cured, but that's gonna have to do. So now we have to attach this over here. That'll be cool. And re rearrange this. Okay, so this mounts on here. Um, I don't know what NB stands for, but I bought this on Amazon. I'll put the link um, in the description. And this is already mounted on the table. It, it has hardware. It comes with threaded, a threaded rod and a wing nut, so you could use that. I used, uh, it's, it's metric, so an 8 millimeter um, bolt that actually came out of, uh, I think it came off the tire carrier from my uh, 2009 Jeep, Jeep JK. So if you have a Jeep JK, you can still bolt out of that, or you can use the one that comes with it, um, or pick up a shorter one. That's the reason I use that bolt, because I wanted a shorter one. So... All right, so that's the project for today uh, was to get this mounted on the arm and I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Um, keeps it on the arc droid. Uh, reduces some setup time for me because uh, before I kept everything in this bag and I still keep stuff in this bag but I mean I don't have to hook up the the uh, plasma cutter to the arc droid. I don't have to uh, get this out and plug it in and run wire. I mean it wasn't terrible. This table was served me well and um, I'm glad I had it for the last couple of years but I think this is a better deal and I certainly like this. Uh, price was right since the metal was free I didn't draw it I didn't have to do that. Um, it wouldn't be a terrible project if a guy wanted to draw it but why would you when you can get one for free right? Uh, that works perfectly so the arm uh, I don't remember what I paid for it, but it's on Amazon I'll put a link and uh, yeah, that's it for today. I appreciate you watching. Um, like, share, subscribe. Uh, you can always support the channel by going to the store and buying merch. Or if you just want more another source for drawings, you're not comfortable with drawing them yourself. I've got several drawings for projects I've made um, available on the store. They're inexpensive. Most of them are five bucks or less. Um, and you can download them from there. Um, yeah, so... There are more projects coming. Um, I'm, a couple more things I want to do to this to uh, get it uh, where I think it's complete. And um, I do want to do a video when I get a chance to play with it and figure it out and get comfortable with it. I'll do a video on using the times to. I don't think it's that difficult, but I just haven't done it yet. So look, look for that to be coming up too. But that's it for now. Uh, I appreciate you watching and. Uh, We'll see you next time.